So the next thing is that we need to create a Flutter application. So let's go and create our uh, Flutter application over here. And uh, let me create uh, one application. Let's so uh, Flutter and Flutter create. And let's give uh, Flutter underscore, I guess it's a hive. Let's go demo. And that is org. That's not required, but I will just keep my domain name. And okay, so that should be fine. And let's create our Flutter application. So that's done already. So let me go inside this folder. Just copy this location and just move it inside to this particular location. And I'll just open it inside the Visual Studio Code. And yeah, so we have opened our application inside the Visual Studio Code. And I guess I don't need this terminal anymore. So I can just close it. And once we have this, what we'll do is we need to, I think we need to install the packages, right? So the dependency. So we'll go to the pubspec.yml file. And I guess I'll go to the leaf folder first and the main.dot. And let us clear out all of the document because we are not going to use all of this. I didn't make some mistake. No, yeah, so I need to clear it out all of the comment box. So just clear these comments because we don't need all of those stuff. Okay, and also I'll just clear out this here too, and here too, and also I guess this one. And I guess I'm also not going to use all of these uh, widget trees, so just remove that one too. And I, I think I'll just remove the floating action button. It's not required over here. And I guess that should be off. This comment should be removed too. Okay. So we have cleared out all of the comments. That's great. So let's move on to the pubspec.yml file. Uh, you can manually go and copy all of the dependency. Just one by one, you can just go and go to installation and copy the hive dependency from here. But uh, it's, uh, you can also do it directly from your VS code. Just hit uh, F and F1 from your keyboard and just select the add the dependencies. And you can just search for the hive and this is the first one you can see the hive over here so when you select that one it should add the hive dependency so let's go and check where is that file that has been added so let me go and see okay so it has been added over here right and we can also add uh, the other dependency that we require we need a uh, hive underscore for flutter and is it not your why is okay so i need to select first of all the uh the add dependency and i need to select the fill yield flutter uh, it should be of a hive see the hive flutter i guess hive flutter okay so i get the hive flutter just add that one too and the next one i also need another the add dependency and I'll just select a path path provider. So I'll also use a path path provider over here. And also another one that we will require is a add dependency. So I always have to select the add dependency, and then look for the Flutter secure storage. So I need to get a Flutter secure storage is this uh this one i guess it should be a secure not the secure there are multiple one so it should be a secure storage okay and uh, then we also need a other one too so let's go and add the dependency and that will be of a hive generator so we'll also need the hive generator and also we will need one more that is of a add the dependency and build runner so can i find the build runner yeah 
so let's go and check our dependency we have added the high flutter high flutter path provider uh, secure flutter secure storage and the hive generator and the build runner so these two should be moved down over on the depend uh, dev dependency because we are not using it for our actual dependency this is only required for the de uh, development that's why we need to add it inside the dev dependency so i guess i can remove the build runner because the the version i can remove it. most of the time it get conflict with the other um version other packages version that's why i always remove the the version code from here and just add the build runner that will auto detect the required build version for it so i guess uh, all of the dependency has been uh, done so you can just open the terminal and uh, it's just a new terminal and you can just type the flutter and pub get or you can just download it directly through this download button so i guess the all of the dependency has been added and we have cleared our main under that file the next step is to start working with our hype database so let's do it on the next lecture till then have a great day